Griffin, and this is a uh, this is actually a response to Mind Pedals, aka David Escarapor. I had to do like eight, maybe nine takes on this one. It's uh, pretty involved, um, and I'm also trying to keep it to under five minutes twenty one seconds, which is his uh, time to sum everything up. The kind of people we we live. There was a great doc. The, there was a little pr program made for TV in the states a couple of years ago, um, where they have eight people and they simulate being survivors of a massive pandemic, uh, you know, to devastating proportions. And they say, oh, well, some, one of the guys said, you know, look, okay, we got here, we have a note left for us and some supplies and that was it. And he goes, I was waiting for someone to give me an induction session. I was waiting for someone to show me around. And this is the difference between myself and a lot of other people. You know, I have tried financial ventures. I have um, not done spectacularly with them. However, that's part of the learning process. One thing I detested about school and about a lot of other things is everyone will say to you, oh, I don't know if it shouldn't be, shouldn't somebody, should, 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 should it this, should it not, won't this, will it not, shouldn't this happen. And this is what you hear ad nauseum. The truth is, we're in a whole society that was built backwards by sociopaths. So the people who insist that you need authorization, insist that you need a middleman, uh, these are the people that you need to cut out of society. If you need a middleman, note that word, need. It should be because they can offer you guidance, experience, and a hedge against disaster or disastrous consequences of experimentation or learning in some cases. A teacher, Mr. Been There, Done That, at a TAFE college, and it's Technical and Further Education, TAFE, uh, is going to uh, be the guy to tell you, look, if you do that, you're going to be so badly burned, it's not going to matter. Don't do that. That's why. They'll tell you why. And one thing you'll learn about sociopaths uh, and the people who go into power trips and have narcissistic tendencies, the one thing they will never, ever tolerate is being asked to validate their opinions, to show their working out, uh, to, you know, basically uh, show where they're coming from. Because the truth is, it's all ego. They're just saying, well, I'm good, so what I think must be right. Seriously, check it out. Thomas Sheridan, Puzzling People, Labyrinth of the Psychopath. It's all in there. So, I've got to tell you, because I like telling you things. I, If you ever want to question anything I tell you, I can usually show you where I got the information. Either that, or it's my own subjective experience. And I'll usually tell you. Yet, if you don't Yet if you have somebody telling you, oh, you need my approval, you have every right to ask them why. What are you bringing to the table? What can you do? They say, oh, well, nobody's going to listen to you if you don't have an agent. Why? And if they're dumb enough to actually answer why, you can probably figure out a way to get around the things that they're, they claim that you need them for. Stephen King uh, found the only reason he needed a publisher was for the name credibility. Once... The brand Stephen King, his own name, became that synonymous, that popular. You know what happened? Just ignore that. Um, he actually started publishing his own work. He started his own publishing company. Granted, he was a millionaire at the time. However, he now runs a scholarship program too. So, if you want to ask, for, if someone's telling you that you need their permission to do something, you have every reason to ask why, and if they will not tell you, then chances are you didn't need it in the first place. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and that is why you don't have to listen to everybody.